Hello guys, welcome to the 2 minute reviews and no, this is not a review video, rather a shout out to my friend who has recently started his own pen manufacturing business. So this video is more about introducing you to the glare pens. A couple of months ago when my friend Sanji from store108.com told me that he was going to manufacture fountain pens under his own brand name, I thought it was just a passing thought till I received this box from him. On opening it, I was greeted by three extremely attractive and beautiful retail boxes carrying three different pens. And you can call them the first generation glare pens. The first beauty here is the glare 71. The pen exudes quality and richness from every angle. It's an extremely premium pen that will cater to the premium market of course. It's completely handmade, made up of acrylic and has this extremely mesmerizing 3D effect that takes its premium caution to an altogether another level. And what's great is that this pen comes in 20 different attractive color designs. Also god, this pen feels so premium in the hands. It comes with a huge and extremely beautiful stainless steel nib that complements its overall beauty and from whatever I have written with it, I can say it's an extraordinary writer. The pen can be definitely one of my favorite pens of 2016, so do watch out for its full review. The second pen here is the T7 and I've been using it for 3 days now and it's already my daily writer. It's damn good and probably the best writing pen I have tried so far. And how good does this pen look? Of course it has been inspired by Lamiel Safari but it is not a blatant copy of it. It has its own nifty features like this extremely sophisticated and stylish clip, the round edges at the bottom, a much improved section area and the highly polished and beautiful transparent resin body that makes it every bit premium. In fact this pen looks and feels way more premium than even the L Safari. It comes in 5 different colors and all look way better than the other. Plus it is by far the best feeling pen that I've tried. It's not just extremely lightweight but has the perfect shape so fits very well in the hands. And you would love writing for long hours with this pen. I find it even better than the Glade 71 because it's lighter and cheaper. From no angle this pen looks like an Indian pen. It looks so German, I mean the whole look and feel of it. And that is commendable. Anyways coming to the third pen that as you can see looks identical to the T7. In fact it is. It's a different variant of the T7 with a different set of feed and nib. And this one's interesting because its nib looks exactly like a ball pen nib. For a moment I thought they've also introduced the ball pen variants of the pens, but no. This one's a fountain pen with a ball pen nib and it writes as smooth as a ball pen. I haven't written much with this pen yet, but the initial impressions are very good. The ballpoint nib is not just a gimmick. This pen takes the concept of Hero 360 to an altogether another level. Hero 360 was two nibs co-joined together to create a 360 degrees running surface, but this one has a ball pen nib. I can't wait to review this pen, in fact all three of them, they look so damn promising. I'm not saying this because I have received them as a gift, but because how good they actually are. So that's all for this video guys. These are the first generation glare pens which I'm sure are going to be very popular in the days to come. You can expect the full review of these pens in the coming week. So do make sure to subscribe to the channel to be the first ones to watch the reviews. And in case if you like the video, please do press the like button down there and do share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.